Hello, and welcome to a bit of an experimental series where I am going to be talking about the game that I have honed and uh, mastered for the past four years. We'll be talking about MTA, and in this series of videos, we'll be covering what exactly makes characters the way they are. So without further ado, our first topic is none other than one of the best characters in the game and one of my favorites to play. A guilty pleasure of mine. I will not admit... I mean, I will admit that my, uh... That I do like to use this very overpowered character by the name of Petey Piranha. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into what makes Petey Piranha top tier in MTA. Alright, and to complement this video, we will be having myself play, uh... Play against some bots as I talk about Petey's various and plentiful and bountiful strengths and his uh, apparent lack of weaknesses. And we will be doing the mode that he is the most well-known in terrorizing, which is simple singles. So I'll just pick any old character. It doesn't really matter who. We'll just go with Tove because the, uh, the AI can actually keep up if it's playing Toad. And we'll just go to hard, because this is perhaps considered Petey's best court. <laughs> and you'll see why soon. So basically, the first thing to note about Petey is his, uh, is his double tap ground stroke flats, which I know is a mouthful, but believe me, it is necessary to parse these details because, as you're about to see, after I serve, every time that I get a ground stroke flat, not only does it angle very hard, it, as you can see, it angles down the line, almost to a perfect fault, almost to that corner, as if he were a technical, but it also pushes Toad back every time, if you look at Toad, he gets pushed back every time, no matter what shot he takes. This gives Petey unparalleled Baseline control versus any other baseliner, he is going to win out because the opponent is constantly getting pushed back. You can see there that the star flat was <laughs> wasn't even like coming close to how uh, fast my normal double tap flats are. But basically, any opposing baseliner is not going to be making headway against this character. Because, generally speaking, unless you're a slice volley character, the faster a shot is incoming to you, the slower your return shot is going to be. And if Petey is constantly belting out these double tap flats and knocking you back, giving you less time to charge, giving you no time to prepare for his next shot, it will just be a constant barrage of double tap flats headed your way. And you see right there, eventually Toad, that is a hard 50-50. I could have gone down the line or gotten that cross court. <laughs> that was a hard 50-50 for Toad to call at the baseline, which is generally considered very safe in this mode. It is very safe to play the baseline game if you're unsure of how to approach your opponent. So with that out of the way, we can move on to demonstrating his volley flats, which angle hard. <laughs> of course, the, the CPU toad is gonna uh, actually finagle me on that one. That's fine. They always automatically lob if I get too close. Basically, if your opponent isn't an AI bot, <laughs> you can walk up here and give yourself some area of control by hitting these hard angling volley flats. Of course, you don't want to do this if they are playing back like the AI Toad is. So it's going to be harder to demonstrate this section, but hopefully you should get the idea that if you're in a volley war versus somebody that is a volleyer in this game, if you're up against a Peach or a Toadette, feel free to make your way up to that line 
You see there, I, I, I still got that, even though he hit me with the hardest top spin angle he could have. And feel free to just throw your weight around. See what, see what your opponent does when you start to pressure them. Of course, it's not gonna, it's more of a mind game thing, as it always is. Simple mode is a very mind gamey mode to play. You really have to be in your opponent's head, but since it's an AI, of course, you're not gonna be. But basically, his volley flat is an amazing finisher. If you've got somebody that feels the need to come up here and contest you at net, which the toe doesn't feel like it, so. Okay, interesting. Oh my god, he's actually, he's doing stuff. Anyways, ignore that. Feel free to just uh, throw your weight around. <laughs> See how the opponent will react, because it angles amazingly. It's not the fastest, but it doesn't have to be. Especially if you're in a volley war of sorts, which the AI is never going to confront me in. It will just stay in the back. But uh, walking up right here is perfectly safe for Petey. I'm not being threatened because the other thing about Petey that makes him so good, the other half, is the fact that he is the largest character in the game. Which entails not only is he the tallest character, but he also has one of the widest ranges and his speed isn't that bad to boot. So you're dealing with this monstrosity that is more mobile than he should be and covers just about everything. As well as the fact that his forehand and well his backhand too, let's be honest, and a little bit behind him, now that I'm thinking about it. He has extra range, he has hidden extra range that is totally not visible and goes past. Oh, there you go, see? <laughs> That one was very fast. Eventually you snowball those, like I said earlier, but his range is very good. <laughs> it is amazing. As long as you're moving around, you don't particularly have to worry about shots getting past you, unless you just really, unless you really mess up. So I'm not gonna be particularly threatened in a volley battle. And Toad certainly isn't going to, and no other baseline. No Spike, no Wario, no Yoshi, no Shy Guy is going to particularly threaten me from the baseline. And no Peach, no Toadette. All right, I just I finally baited a lob. And as you can see, I can even catch lobs if I'm up here. I'm gonna bait it again. And there you go. He made a lob, as simple as that. And, uh, yeah, that's just a demonstration of Petey's enormous range that he doesn't need. So, what are his weaknesses, exactly? Nothing, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Absolutely nothing unless I take my eyes off the game for like a brief second. Nothing that can be consistently exploited. But if you can, getting him to lunge means that he goes off the court. And it's almost impossible to recover from that point. Of course the Toad, you know, the AI being what it is, could have totally recovered. But for the sake of demonstration, it's better, <laughs> or it's better shown that um, uh, Petey's lunge, while it goes very far, possibly the furthest in the game, which is very useful for simple doubles. Um, it doesn't have the best recovery, which means I'm going to be sitting there for like a full second. See if I have to do that, then it takes me a minute to get back in. But even there, look at that. I just scooped that right up. <laughs> I scoop that right up. <laughs> I don't know how much more emphasis I need to place on that. The fact that Toad cannot get that past me. 
Satan, even though I totally lunged, and then walked to the other side of the court. So Petey, even if he does mess up, there's still a significant margin of error he gets to play with. And no other character really gets to. And there you can see, uh, <laughs> you know, it doesn't... I'm unfazed by any option that Toad could possibly throw out. Most... most... Let me try that one more time. <laughs> most... Top players agree that Petey has no losing matchup on about any court, except for Grass, because Grass is so volley-centric, it means Petey is unable to play his ground game and push opponents back, which is what he wants to do against most volley matchups. He wants to push them back so that he can advance himself. And then start bullying from the tee. Which, of course, AI Toad is not going to let me demonstrate here, but... Oh, maybe it will. And then hit that drop, which is angled, and... I almost forgot to mention, Petey has the fastest and hardest angling Star Smash in the game. <laughs> which means anytime Petey is able to get that star, even if you catch it, you'll be sent back to the stratosphere, pretty much. So, fastest, most powerful, most hard angling flat, star flat, I should say, in the game, belongs to this monster. Let me bait it. Oh, come on, Toad. There we go. There you go. No character's gonna be able to catch that without one. <laughs> Unless they're already right there. In which case, you go to the other side. You pay attention to where the opponent is and just hit away from them. Because <laughs> Petey can do that. Petey will hit away from them. So yeah, that's my synopsis on Petey for this video. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully it doesn't come out too bad. I'm not exactly the world's best at uh, ad-libbing. But make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll be most happy to oblige. Until then, bye.